Breaking news! Dogfish Head just came out with a whole new style of beer! Wow! Or did they? <laughs> Dogfish Head just released a news or something of that? I don't know, I just saw it on their Facebook not too long ago, talking about a low-calorie IPA, uh, which is, you know, groundbreaking in the, in, the, in the beer world. You do know that beer is normally 200 to 300 calories. They came out with a 95-calorie Michelob Ultra-esque IPA. But is it a new style? Turns out it's really not. <laughs> Peter and I did what one Google search and looked at each other like mm, I have a feeling we know how they did that. Um, it turns out we were right. <laughs> this could be a fun new style. I just think it may, might have been a little bit disingenuous of Dogfish Head to s say it was a new style. Um, low calories or calories in beer comes from two different things. The number one thing is the alcohol content, and the other thing is the final gravity. Yep, final gravity. And as we all know, videos that we've been putting out about Brute IPAs know that they finish out at zero or even sub-zero gravity, which means that there are no residual sugars and carbohydrates left in the beer. So to do a 95-calorie a, a beer, technically speaking, all you have to do is make a Brute IPA that starts somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 1.033, or what's that, like 8, eight Play-Doh? Uh, and finishes out below the density of water or below one, which you do by adding enzyme. Now, the thing that Dogfish Head did do that is relatively new, excuse the awesome song playing in the background, um, the, the first to do is they added a, a, a natural sweetener that has a little bit of a mature characteristic to it, which is a, a monk fruit extract. Monk fruit extract is not a new product in a lot of other food industry areas. Uh, it's basically stevia. It's just a different plant, but obviously... Dogfish Head isn't going to use something like Stevia because it has a sort of stigma to it, negative implement, negative stuffs. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, stigma was a good word. Yeah, stigma. <laughs> you can re, re say it in a different way if you want, but negative was a good way to put it. Uh, I, I actually like Stevia. I think it's really useful in making hard ciders, as is monk fruit extract, uh, because it's a sweetener that's non fermentable and uh, it's, it's a zero calorie sweetener. But that's all it is. Yeah. So all in all, Dogfish Head is kind of dropping the ball on this beer because they are known for really changing the, the beer world, changing the game, creating awesome flavor profiles, and really that's not what this is. This is just creating cheap beer for the masses, the way we see it. And they're, they're, they pioneer their price point through marketing, which usually works and they have something to back them up when they're using really expensive or rare ingredients. I guess monk fruit extract is an expensive ingredient. It is more expensive than stevia, yes. Yeah, uh, but at the same time, you know, it's 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 still just using an ingredient. I mean, it, it does fit the profile of the beer, but like I said, it's, it's just a little disingenuous to say it's a new style and, and, and a huge pioneer forward in the in the beer industry. Uh, whereas previously, with doing historical beers like Chicha and Tahankit, um, those were pioneered. Those were like you, they had to do some really good beer history. Um, that said, I'm still going to give this beer a try. I would love to taste it, and I think it actually could be uh, the first wave in a new style that we see of healthier beers. Uh, but, you know, that, that's, that's all it is. So, until next time, hope you enjoyed this quick hump day special. And uh, I'm going to drink my probably 120 calorie beer because it fermented out with Brett down to zero. <laughs> uh, that tastes great. And uh, Let's get don't, antioxidants in that, too. Antioxidants. Don't always fall for marketing labels is the lesson of the day. <laughs> until next time on Genus Brewing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, and we'll link this below. The article about that. Beep. Perfect, <laughs> Perfect time. time. Jinx, five.